we will be looking at index laws. So first of all, we will look at the basic rules of index laws, and there are three that you have to remember. And first of all, any number to the power of zero will always equal one. So that could be 500 to the power of zero or a million to the power of zero. This will always equal one. Now, negative powers can also be written as reciprocals. And I've shown here below that x to the minus n is equal to one to the x, um, one over x to the n. So if n here is five, for example, you'll go x to the minus five is equal to one over x to the five. So very simple, that's just another way and you will see both of these ways written, so watch out for that. Now the final one is that any power which is one divided by something can be written as a root. And I've shown here again that x equals one over n is equal to n root x. So this time say that n is equal to eight. That's gonna be one to the one eighth can also be written as root eight of x. Yeah. So there are three more rules that you need to learn and these are when you combine indices. And when multiplying terms, the indices are added and that is the first one. And the example I've given you here is x to the a times x to the b is equal to x to the a plus b. Now we will add some numbers in here and see how that looks. So if we do three x to the two times by four x to the five, now we will end up by you times the first two, so you times three times four as you normally would, which is 12. Then you put the x in there and then you add the indices. So the indices are two and five. So you add them, which equals seven. And there is your answer, 12x to the seven. So the next step is when dividing terms, the indices are subtracted from each other. So the example here is y to the a divided by y to the b is equal to y to the a minus b. So again, I'm going to add some numbers in here to see how that looks. And if we add 30 y to the 20 divided by 5 y to the 7, then that is going to equal, so you do 30 divided by 5 as you normally would, and that is equal to 6. Then you put the y in there and then you do 20 take away seven, which is equal to 13. And there is your answer, six y to the 13. So finally, rule three is when raising one term to another, the indices are multiplied. So we have you z and z a, and then if this is raised by b, then that is simply equal to z to the a times by b. And if we add numbers into this one and we put 10 z to the three. Then we're gonna put brackets around that because we're gonna raise this by two. Now you have to multiply everything and 10 would just be squared, so that equals 100. Now the z to the three has been raised by two, so three times by two is equal to six which means that the answer is 100 Z to the six. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.